welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Goat to kick off another meme tier Monday. We got four more uh, viewer submitted donation decks that are all going to be a lot of fun. That's what meme tier Monday is about. It's not necessarily about the wins and losses. It's about having fun and discovering new card interactions and powerful cards that we don't necessarily see played a lot in the uh, regular metagame. This first deck is going to be a Targon Freljord deck. We're calling it Soraka Goat because the goal of the deck is to buff up Mountain Goat and take these little billy goats to the top and, uh, you know, kill your opponent with Mountain Goat. That's the goal of the deck. All right, so how are we going to achieve that? How are we going to be killing our opponents with Mountain Goats? First, we need to be striking a lot, right? Because each time it strikes, it creates a gem in hand. Gems are pretty cool, and they'll be useful. Each gem will be able to heal the Mountain Goat one and also increase the power by one. So we need to make sure the Mountain Goat survives these strikes. So we're going to have ways to uh, help it survive with, like, Tiari, the Traveler giving it plus zero, plus two. We'll have Troll Chant, which is obviously a great card to help it survive. Brittle Steel, a nice nice combat trick whenever they block with like you know their own three, two or something like that. One mana, keep our Mountain Goat alive. We'll have Flash Freeze, that kind of stuff. And then Mentor the Stones, right? Mentor the Stones will help support the, the Mountain Goat, grant it plus two, plus two, so we can start getting the Mountain Goat larger. So now if we're, if we're supporting the Mountain Goat, with you know mentor the stones and tre and making it larger and then each gem you know will reheal it buff up the power they can still block with like little spiders or you know little one one stuff like that so how do we actually kill them with the mountain goat well there we go it's going to be about zenith blade so zenith blade is going to be a big part of this deck granting the mountain goat plus one plus two and overwhelm of course at daybreak we can draw another zenith blade um, so the overwhelm is what we're going to want on this mountain goat. So we can keep, so we we're um, buffed up the health of the mountain goat. We are re are healing it with the gems, and then that's what Soraka's in here for to heal the heal our mountain goat um, for. And then we'll also have like astral protection, be able to heal our mountain goat. And so each time we you know we strike, we get the gems. We're increasing the power. We're healing it. We're adding in, uh, you know, we're buffing it up with Mentor the Stones and Tiari. And then we need to. Uh, have a finisher so we have zenith blade as our finisher to give it overwhelm and then we also have bastion to protect mountain goat um, with the plus one plus one and spell shield and then also at the top end we can make our goat furious with the battle fury to finish the game so that's what the deck's all about um aphelios is in here you're like well why is aphelios in here and you may think oh well you have like this moon weapon that can create that can summon a two drop and that's going to go summon the goat for us that's smart but we also have a lot of other twos, right? Like we have these Tiaris that are twos. We also have Starlet Seer that could buff up a goat in our deck. Um, so, you know, like it's not very it's not very likely that we get a two drop with Aphelios. It's possible, but not really likely. But what Aphelios does do is it can give the goat lifesteal and overwhelm. Another way to give the goat overwhelm, plus two, plus one overwhelm. That's going to be pretty big if we got a, a big buffed up goat. So that's like the, these two moon weapons are really what we're looking for with Aphelios. All right, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. We're calling it Soraka Goat. <laughs> Is this the best deck ever? No, probably not. But we're gonna try to kill our opponents with Mountain Goats, because that's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. So we're just gonna be playing five games in normal. And looks like we're playing against um, Malphite and Leona. So we got some Daybreak stuff. They, they're gonna be really good at blocking. That's what those things usually do. Um, these daybreak units, they block. All right, so we need to find a goat. I, I mean, all these are pretty good. I guess I'm kind of going to mulligan those two and keep these two. Oh, but we need to find a goat. Okay. Star Wars here will buff up our goat. It, there's not really any goat card backs or emotes or guardians, I guess. This is about the closest I got to a goat. This thing, Stella. We get a goat. No goats, not yet. Mm. Could also 
So we can go for the Starlet Seer, I guess. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Let's play that, see what happens. An auspicious season. All right. Nothing good happened. So aggressive. Hmm. Nope. Guess I could have blocked with TRE. Yeah, I could have blocked with TRE. I'm not gonna throw the TRE away to give the mentor the stones plus zero plus two. Obviously, the hush is pretty bad because... Man. The hush is pretty bad because then we don't get, like, the bonuses from the casting the spells. I did the Bastion first just to put the, the spell shield on this thing so they couldn't just hush it again. So they add Hush and Sharp Sight and Single Combat, and we're able to survive all those, so that's good. Oh, but then that thing! And that gets through the... Oh no, that's that's why they Single Combat my Tutu. I forgot, I just wasn't paying attention to that thing. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Alright, other Star Wars here. Yep, we did all that like an hour ago. Uh, yeah, watch the the new new cards, all that kind of the new video stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, let's see. I mean, that's just gonna stun two things. Like we're we are in trouble. The journey brings. I welcome it. The Star Child herself. I'm starting my journey. Trust the stars to guide you, Tiari. Yeah, that, that single combat is probably going to win this game for my opponent, right? Killing that 2-2 so that then, then that thing killed my 5-5. Five, five. Like, we needed that. Obviously, we needed that uh, Starless here. But still, this is... Uh, it's still not good with them stunning everything. But I needed that damaged Starless here, right? Because then we could have healed that, that thing a bunch with all these gems. Also. Follow the horizon! Okay. We're not dead. This will be a good winter. We're not dead yet. Well... Alright, so this is taken it's basically taking four damage, right? I can only heal it a couple of times though. I'm basically casting casting those just to get a couple of buffs on the next unit on top of the deck. 
in case this next card's a unit. Which it is, and it's the goat. Let's go with the mountain goat. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. don't have to do any blocking and so I guess I, I should have probably just put the battle fury on like the TRE and made it so they had to block something our only nexus healing is Aphelios getting the lifesteal uh, moon weapon we don't have, like, Guiding Touch or Star Shaping or anything like that. They were smart. They didn't block. I, I should just throw, throw the Battle Fury on the TRE. Mm, no, I need to fully heal damaged Nexuses. <laughs> Not allies. All they have to do is attack and we lose. too. Alright. That single combat, that round, that was a good good round for them. That uh, that thing, that, that card that obliterated my 5-5 five, five with spell shield. I definitely won that, that uh, game. But that was a really good game, though. That was a, a good game. We learned some stuff about the deck. That was a good game. Yeah, the Rockfall Path was pretty great. Alright, so Azir Hecarim. They're obviously going to be very aggressive and attacking a lot. Um, the Spacey Catcher works great with the gems, but without the gems, it doesn't really do anything. Um, I guess I'm going to mulligan Astral Protection too, even though I kind of want to keep it, but we, we need our blockers. Okay, there we go. We got a goat. Round one goat. I know I just let the Bark Beast grow to a 3-3, but that's why I got Brittle Steel. I'll just do that right now before a Vile Feast or Unspeakable Horror. I don't want to have to use a Troll Chant for that. I know that the gem plus a felt you know, that was a good way to turn on the Nightfall for Aphelios. Um... I guess I can hush that. Uh, I'm just gonna take it. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth, though. What does he want from me? Let's go get a big goat. That's what our deck's all about. Just leave me alone. Big buff goat. Hmm. 
gonna try keeping the Mentor of the Stones alive to be able to buff up the goat again next round. With this Mentor of the Stones. Men die, but Shirima lives forever. Forever. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boats. And this is actually pretty sweet. <laughs> I think we're going to be winning this game. Ugh. Let me do this. Um, yeah, sure. It's fine. It's all fine. Guess. Yeah, I guess. All right, I guess we can do this. I was keeping my astral protection available, but I guess we can just do this. Probably just take that damage. Because I'm going to be able to heal. I'll be able to heal that much back anyway. This next round. That's probably a bad troll chant. Yeah, because now I don't, I don't have 7 mana now for protection plus Severum. Or even double double moon weapon. Arise. Okay, that was a bad troll chant. Glorious sacrifice. This came from Warden's Prey. of the stones. Six, nine, ten. Yeah, we got ten cards in hand. Top card's getting burned. Oh, that would have been a good card. Oh, why didn't I grab the stun card? Probably should have grabbed the stun card. Okay, let's see. So we're going to hush you. I don't want you doing your thing. And we're going to um, I have to cast Inferno right now instead of a gem to just get the next moon weapon. Which I guess is going to be Crescendum. Because, wait, 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 wait. Alright, so if I want Severum next, yeah, so if I take Crescendum, I can still grab Severum next. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Because Calibrum doesn't really matter. Grows in flame. Shireen, see what I see. Carry it with you. 
Emperor, I am honored. Hmm. I just can't block with the Ophelios anywhere. I guess I, I'm going to have to block the Ophelios, though. Okay, so I just I have to kill them next round. Okay, okay, yeah, we can we can kill them next round. Yeah, we're we're good. Right? Can we kill them next round? Always You're a six six. Five it is. Yeah, five it is. I'm glad they didn't attack with these things. That would have made my life more difficult if they would have attacked with the Zir and Hecarim. That would have made my life a lot more difficult. Derek. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to play you, Derek. All right, let's see. We're going to start with you. Because I want Severum. A crescent path opens before us. Or peace. Yeah, I mean, each each life matters. The 3-1 doesn't really matter. Like, because the... Th this this card doesn't matter whatsoever. I would yeah. So yes, the one the one life is more important than this card. Whenever you have like Hecarim that's going to put much larger things attacking anyway and all that kind of stuff. Like this this card doesn't matter in the slightest in this game. All right, double go. Find peace in the quiet, Fell. It's just us. All right, so we're taking Graviton this time. No, do we need another goat? No, but I have to. I have to play that card to get to get Severum, right? We need Severum, so I have to play that Moon Weapon to get to get the Life Steal. That's the card I need. We will have to rebuild a new goat, but we can rebuild. Okay, so they're at eight. K 
Can I play you, Tarek? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven. Yeah, I think so. I think I can play you, Tarek. Oh, uh, but then I, I won't draw the other Zenith Blade, but that's okay. We don't need to draw the other Zenith Blade. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Tarek, are you here to help me? The journey is yours, but I'll help where I can. Yeah, this this works. Just fine. All right, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Alright, so I'm making more blockers. I could have just only gone gems and then attacked and I would have had the can't take damage or die. But they have like a vengeance. I will regret that, but they could have vengeance whenever I life stealed the Tarek and they didn't. I kind of think this is a Nightfall card if they just did this thing first. Right, like that's what it makes sense. So I kind of feel like it's unspeakable horror. No. Really? Oh man, what a good unspeakable horror. Oh man, that's a killer. Oh, what a good unspeakable horror. I should have just done all gems and then tacked. <laughs> wow, what a good unspeakable horror. To protect all. It's Unyielding. There is nowhere left to go but up. No, it wasn't the only nightfall card that could save them. The um the double silence card would have been completely backbreaking. But that was that that saves them. Like this game's over if they don't if they you know didn't have anything there. Yeah, that that probably just wins them this game. Oh, flash freeze could help. Does that does that save me? Probably not though. Yeah, moonlight affliction would have been the worst possible. That was the, that was the second worst. Those were like the only two. I don't have the stun. Man, if I just <laughs> if I. They just weren't doing anything, so I thought I was fine. But if I would have just gemmed and not played that other moon weapon and just not gone for the overwhelm, if I would have just gemmed and attacked, I think we're fine because we're back up to 20 life. That stun card was brutal. We played some cool games, though.
We're not. It's meme tier Monday. We're not expecting to win all of our games. We've done some cool stuff. I have I have no idea how how if I would have blocked Azir the last round I would have had lethal. I have no I I have, I have no idea what what you're talking about with that. I really don't. I, I don't know. Overwhelm with Taric plus gems. But they I mean they would have stunned they stunned. Okay, so we're playing. All right, so new match. So uh, we're playing against. I agree with Elise. Um, kind of want to just keep. I guess we'll mulligan these two. I kind of wanted to keep everything though. Maybe I should just mulligan the flash freezes. Trust the stars to guide you, Tiari. That has to be Vile Feast. What do we got here? Look what I the peak it's ravenous flock man we can't catch any kind of break can we <laughs> nothing lines up wow wow Man. Well, gee, good hand opponent, I guess. They got their two champions and Ravenous Flock. Wow. Yeah, Colin strikes perfect against Sirak also. That was not close. The first two games were close. That one, not close. He just got annihilated. So no champions with Freljord in uh, Shadow Isles. What do we got for no champions? I want some goats. Mm. 
well, or... Yeah, I definitely want to... Yeah, I, I wanted to mulligan all the spells, because, yeah, our deck is pretty spell-heavy. You want to find some... Find some more units. And it's just Tiari and Soraka don't necessarily do a ton. Really need, like, the goats to, you know, be attacking, get the gems, all that kind of stuff. Definitely my best card. Only good card. Which one am I discarding? Flash Freezer Hush. And I probably like a Ledro stack. I mean, my guess is a Ledro stack. I won't stop now. Should probably get this attack in before an avalanche. Like if I just play the messenger first, they avalanche. Trust the stars to guide you, Tiari. Well, I, yeah, I didn't really play Soraka because Soraka just didn't do anything at the time. It's not a bad... This is not a bad Battle Fury. Spot. The Star Child herself! I'm starting my journey! Trust the stars to guide you, Tiari. I'm gonna play this, be able to draw another Zenith Blade.
So I kind of feel like they have a... How they were waiting like that. I was thinking maybe just another ruination. I want to play this Aphelios, but I also don't want to play any of these things first. I mean, I guess I could play the Zenith Blade first. Yeah, yeah, I guess we just play the Zenith Blade first, because I want to get these Zenith Blade out of my hand, right? or, like, out of the deck, right? Like, I don't want to draw Zenith Blade for, for turn. Like, it, it's a one out of, you know, it's basically like a 4% chance that we draw the Zenith Blade, but I don't want to draw the Zenith Blade. I don't want that to happen. And I know Severum doesn't do anything, but if they if they ruination, and Calibrum just doesn't do anything either. Especially if they ruination, Calibrum's not doing anything. But I guess if they ruination, then Severum won't matter. So all right, Calibrum, I guess. A path opens before us. I should have played the troll chant. Yeah, I should have played troll chant. I should have played troll chant. It would have got troll chant would have gave would have gave me the calibrum and also gotten plus one plus one on the top unit of the deck. This is another bad matchup for us, though. Like, just a deck with a whole lot of hard removal, right? And ruinations and stuff. Like, whenever our the whole point of our deck is to, like, buff our stuff up, <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't match up well against ruination, that's for sure. Tarek, are you here to help me? The journey is yours, but I'll help where I can. We have thinned our deck a decent amount. Well, I'm jealous. Majestic, but can you float? I could certainly try. The other decks looks pretty good against us.
could be useful. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Aberrosans, stand together. Yeah, I discarded, what, a flash freeze instead of a hush. I was kind of thinking, hush could be good against that thing. There's not, there's no card that, like, does one point of damage, is there? I think that maybe there would be Ledros, but it makes more sense to play Howling Abyss. We got the goat! Finally. Ah. Uh, first speed. I wanted to hush it. You know, like whenever they played something, but they played burst speed. And that also healed their Nexus. So that's three, yeah. Hush the Soraka so they don't get to draw the card. Yeah, that's the play. Keep them from drawing this extra card. So they only have just the card in hand and the card that they're about to draw to that would keep them alive. And they, ha you know, like, they may have something out of those two that keeps them alive, but those are their only options for, you know, like this trickster that's about to kill them. Yeah, sorry, Volcanic. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. So this is going to be five right now. Should make it six. In case they drew something that heals their Nexus for three. No! It healed their Nexus for three and got them... To, it, like, that's the only card that... That's about it. Besides just a regular removal spell, that's like the only card because it's burst speed for Fizz. Man, what a perfect draw. What a perfect draw. 
Because like a fast speed spell doesn't give the Fizz elusive to block, right? So that's the thing is like if they have Withering Whale, they lose. Like with you know, because they don't get to block. It has to be burst speed to, to be able to block. Man, we are getting, oh, that's a loss. We're getting no luck here. It's a couple of times where the opponents just top deck the cards they need. Oh man. <sighs> Talia Malphite. Okay, so we lost this one earlier. Well, Leona Malphite. I like these two are gonna go, and I th and Zenith Blade's pretty important though. I kind of want to keep Zenith Blade, but again, we need like a goat or something. But these are like our other cards with the goat that really help us win. We've had turn we've had goat once out of five games, like in our in like the first handful of cards. Yeah, just one time. We and that's our like our whole point of our deck is to be a goat deck and we can't ever find it. It's too bad. Gems are superb. Bad for the teeth though. Can we get a goat, please? My plan was to play Sor or sorry to play Aphelios here, to heal and but I have too many cards in hand now with that thing dying. So we're gonna get Sorak out that can block. We're gonna Zenith the Mentor. Um, Zenith has a Z. We're gonna basically, I was doing that to so I could turn on the Nightfall for Aphelios. That was my plan. And Zenith is free. Gets another one out of the deck. Go no further. Can't steer. No, I can't play this again. I have too many cards in my hand. I have too many cards in my hand. Okay. Tiari. Well, oh, you're my favorite walk and also color.
for your shadow. You have to imagine that they have um, Malphite here. That they, you know, with the round seven with the lucky finds. Twice as strong. <laughs> Good memory chip. For Soraka to heal on attack, it has to support something. It doesn't just... You can't just attack with Soraka and then it heals four. It has to support. And there's... I did not want to attack and support with either of these. Okay, so we have a goat and a Soraka. Of course, the problem with attacking... The problem with attacking is this, that, that it kills the blue sentinels. That's the other thing, is I don't want these blue sentinels to die, because if we kill the blue sentinels, then the Malphite levels up. And then Malphite level up. Yeah, so this is, this is just kind of over. Like, the Malphite level up's done all of our stuff. That's just not what our deck can handle. You know, our deck can't handle... We need a block and everything. We can't handle all of our stuff being stunned. Deck can't re really handle much. To be honest. I have to cast the Severum. What do I want? I mean, I guess I can I can throw away something. Like I could throw away like the Tre. This is the card that can actually take the attacks. I have to do that so I can get the Gravitum. So the next round, when they stun all of our stuff, then I can stun this Talia. Nine mana next round. If I don't play, it's ten. Three, six, ten. My starlight. I don't want ten mana. Okay. 
I'm trying over here. I'm trying. Battle Fury? How much? Stop, get out of here. I don't... How much mana do I have? I guess I'm going to probably just take the Graviton. Nine? Okay, yeah, I have enough. Darkness, light. There's nothing I can do to stop this that, that you know, it's going to do the two damage to the enemy Nexus, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do to stop that. So that's how we're going to die. I didn't have the mana for Overwhelm with Fury. Or at least, I mean, I not to get the Overwhelm weapon and cast Battle Fury. But if Elios was going to be doing more damage for life stealing, I was going to life steal more. Okay, so ended up going 0 and 5 with Soraka Goat. But again, it's Meme Tear Monday, right? It's not necessarily all about wins and losses. Um, it's about, you know, just trying to do some cool stuff. And I think I think you could definitely make this a, you know, we could we could have had more better card choices to make it more competitive. Um, if, you know, like we were playing some different stuff. Like Tiari, unfortunately, never really mattered. We never really had, like, the Goat on turn 2. Well, we did, like, one one time out of five games. Um, but you know, like we, one one card that would have helped a whole lot in here would have been like Sparklefly. But we didn't want um, like the person that made the deck didn't want the goat to be overshadowed by like buffing up other stuff, um, you know, like like that. And you know, like obviously with Targon, we could have had more like star shapings and invoke cards and all that kind of stuff that would have definitely made it more competitive. But again, we didn't want to really overshadow buffing up a goat because we want to have some fun doing that. So of course, we didn't get as many wins because of that. Um, but we, we did get to have some, a bunch of really cool, um, buffed up units. And, uh, unfortunately we did play against a good amount of Targon decks that were like hushing or stunning all of our stuff, um, and made life difficult for us. We didn't just like face some aggro decks that <laughs> didn't really have any, uh, interaction. Um, unfortunately I was pretty disappointed in the take heart. Uh, you know, like it was just really difficult to have damaged allies, even and Soraka also. Like we just we just didn't have like we weren't able to like heal allies because we just didn't really have damaged allies, right? Like they would just kill our things or stun it, right? And like so like didn't really do anything. Um, so maybe the take heart could be, um, yeah, because we just didn't have damaged allies, right? So like maybe the take heart could be, could definitely be something else that uh, could have helped more. But oh well, that's that's gonna be our first deck today. Um, definitely cards that I like playing, right? I like these um, self-buff things. And I was pretty impressed with the Aphelios, the moon weapons from the Aphelios. I, I was definitely impressed with that, with our, our uh, deck. Um, I wasn't expecting that to be as good, but yeah, the the Aphelios looked great. So I was, I was very impressed with Aphelios. Both Aphelios and Taric looked really good here. Soraka um, didn't look good, because like, like I said, we just never had damaged allies. I could see this just being like an Aphelios Taric deck. Um, and that's honestly something that's kind of cool together, right? Like, because you get the moon weapons on Taric and you can copy the moon weapons. Like, that that would seem pretty sweet. So I, I, was, I was impressed with both Aphelios and Taric in our, in our deck. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for this one. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed um, seeing some cool new stuff because that's what Meme Terror Monday is about. If you got any su suggestions for next week, feel free to put them in the comment section or, of course, any suggestions for the deck. Um, but that's going to be, be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.